Hey guys, how much do I like Shimano Dior brakes? Let's just say that I like them enough to have them on all my beater bikes. And you see two sets of uh, what was called M6000 brakes, the 11 speed Dior's installed on two of my bikes. But with 12 speed, Shimano introduced their new version. This time it's called M6100. This is Dior 12 speed. Let's check them out. On this corner of the box, you're gonna see the product code also that these brakes are made in Malaysia. All the other Shimano 12 speed brakes that I've seen were made in Japan. There's not much to see on the other side. However, here on the face of the box, you're gonna get a lot of details about these brakes. And they seem to have introduced a few more of these tiny icons. Uh, BL, so lever is 6100. This is a common lever used for both two pot and four pot. M6100 means that these are the lighter version or two pot version of these brakes. The four pot version would be 6120. Uh, mineral oil, the new iSpec EV uh, bar clamp, uh, servo wave action, which is uh, uh, modified for this 12 speed version. I assume that means uh, adjustable reach. Uh, these are made for cross country and trail riding two finger braking, one way bleed, a better way to bleed these brakes. Uh, it shows you that these are post mounted calipers and the two type of pads available, uh, one is resin and one is metal. Also on this pictogram, you're gonna see that you can install the fin or ice tech pads with these brakes. They're not provided, but they would fit just right. The length of your hose, it is a BH90 hose. This is the lever with the disconnected hose and that is the hose and the attached caliper. Again, this is 1.7 meters, so it should be the rear. Also inside the box, you're gonna have this uh, user manual, meaning scan that QR code to get to their site. And you're gonna have a little baggie that uh, I guess is a bit confusing these days. In the past, uh, it used to be that only the front brake would get all these goodies. I'm talking about the bleeding block and the two halves for cutting the hose. Also in here, you have the mounting bolts. And in this case, I have an olive and an insert. Now, uh, again, you already have an olive and insert in here. And if you wonder about installing these brakes, check out the video that I put uh, together recently, which explains exactly how to install a brake like this. But cutting it to the chase, if your brakes arrive like this, you already have an olive and insert in there already. So what's provided here is spares. If you bought the brakes OEM, meaning that the hose is already connected to your caliper, you are definitely gonna need the olive and insert because you have to cut the hose to the proper length and I have a second video on my channel showing you exactly how to complete that procedure. Here next to the same generation XT you can see the master cylinder shape is the same they've always borrowed that also the free stroke adjustment here that's missing but that's missing on the or scapped on the SLX as well the finish is this uh, glossy gray, a bit darker than XT, but I would prefer this versus the SLX, which is kind of bluish. And uh, the lever shape is exactly the same, uh, missing the uh, reach adjust here knob. However, you can use an Allen key to do that. And also you have the dimples on the XT that again are missing on the Dior, but the SLX is missing them as well. Also, this, uh, the lever is a bit wider, and I found in riding these XTs that I kind of prefer it to the previous version. Shimano Mineral Oil is mentioned here. You see the two-piece bar clamp. To open that bar clamp, you have to push on this little hole with the two millimeter Allen key. Also, here on the back, you're gonna see the product code and that these are manufactured in Malaysia. The XTs are made in Japan. The old Dior's M6000 were also made in uh, Malaysia, mineral oil as well. And you see the lever shape is different. Also, uh, the iSpec 2 versus iSpec EV. And you see the different attachment points of that master cylinder to the bar clamp. Lever shape is largely the same, but this new one is again is flatter. And aside from that, uh, very similar uh, master cylinder design as you see it over here. Maybe because of that one-way bleeding, these two-pot calipers have been redesigned. You see the product code here on the back. Also, you see the same retaining pin 
the split pin for the pads and uh, on the front you're gonna see the location of that bleeding port right now is here covered by this rubber cap so you remove it and this is where you would attach your syringe for bleeding use a needle nose plier to straighten that pin and you can take out the pads what this comes with is G03S a resin pad that would fit the previous generation just as well as the previous generation brakes uh, brake pads will fit these calipers. You see this is the old J02A resin ice stick with fins and same would be true for this J04C metallic pads again ice stick with fins. That same metallic pad is mentioned here on the box for the XT the two piston caliper so keep in mind that you can use these interchangeably just like the previous generation Dior the hose comes on the inside and if you look at the uh, pistons the two pistons are made out of resin they are black just like they were with the M6000s by the way the bleeding port on the M6000 is down here so again a redesigned caliper for the new Dior's weight of the front with the one meter hose is 295 grams that's 20 grams more than the SLX and about 30 grams or 35 grams more than the XT the rear brake comes up to 313 grams again this is about 20 grams heavier than the SLX and 35 grams heavier than the XT 12 speed brakes also new is the availability of a four pot caliper with the Dior brakes and make sure you subscribe to my channel to find out when I'm gonna be able to get a hold of those but what do I think about these new Dior's the two pot for now well just like in the past these were the budget kings they work forever they never ever gave me any trouble whatsoever so I would highly recommend them the only downside of using these brakes that I can think of is a bit of a on off nature of the servo wave implemented however the new ones are supposed to be improved and also they remain the cheapest serious brake options from Shimano add to that the shorter free stroke for quicker brake engagement also the redesigned servo wave that should give you a bit more modulation and I think that Dior is going to continue to be the budget king for our bikes and that's the end of my video folks if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Why not using Shimano brakes? Cheers, guys. Cheers.